go, game number two of the night. So next up now we've got Switch Galaxy Ultra. This is by Atomicon, and again I've got to thank them for providing me with a free key on Steam here in order to put this stream together here. So I can't thank them enough for that, so let's just hope I can do the game justice here. Here we go, game number two of the night. So next up now we've got... I have the Twitch stream running here. There we go, okay. It's a new game just now, now it's going to continue. Well, let's just give a shot to this right here. Oh, it's in comics now. Do you know voice it? There'd be any better. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> Filler. Mon Casino, part of the gambling galaxy, where the rich go to get poor and the poor go to get the rich. The place is hot and funny and throbbing, and inside, many a heartbeat of the alien equivalent is doing likewise. The venue is no stranger to suave, and is not starved or sophisticated, but still, it's all... I can't pronounce that word. <laughs> Life? <laughs> Lift? <laughs> go with that lift form. Vince Vance and his Retina Crippling Companions. Retina Crippling Companions cuts a clean centre party through the assembled assemblage to the cat to the Cassina's to the Cassina's cruelest, most punishing mistress. It really made a hash now. A poker wheel. It is a phrase heard here only once before and it ended with the bankruptcy of a small planet and a 3,000 year old dynasty being sold into bondage. <laughs> nice Austin Powers reference there at the end. gas and fuel, and something to help with the gas after the food. You can also get a clean shiv in the gut for farting in the wrong direction. If you're lucky, the shiv is clean. If you've karmic juice to pay, the septic coma might just take the edge off the dying. to have won the Ender Car 5000, age 12, and the oldest, age 42, and the only racer to have been disqualified in disgrace twice, age 12 and 42, and in between and either side, a mercenary, a haulage facilitator, a pigeon fancier, unconvicted, <laughs> a pirate, a major general in the Bandarian army, peacetime, <laughs> Deserter of the Bandarian Army, all time. A shepherd, a president, a primary school teacher, and a traffic woman. Only these are his resume. <laughs> I have to look at the developer. I'm assuming it's a British developer, <laughs> just for that bit at the end. 
Uh, okay, the mystical material on this is tantalum. Yeah, I think this is definitely a British developer that now it's all about thing to lose. I had one of those last night, actually. <laughs> First time I've ever had a Vindaloo. Nice and spicy. <laughs> does this go on for? I don't normally like skipping the story, so <laughs> persevere. That's all you're an Asari in disguise. Amma Bessie Ness, age 893, head of Dakar Technologies since the ascension of her parents at the age of 621, young for a Daktarian. The Dakar structure is such that she assumes the role of figurehead, equivalent to queen, with all the vast privilege and fabulous lack of freedom that entails. Having assumed the awesome responsibility of Dakar before her debutante ceremony, she is effectively housebound. She's never left the nest of Dakar, ever, and never will. So she reads, and reads, and she dreams. Dakar's latest pet, the Evolver, Eevee to his friends, rumoured, by those that know of its existence, to be faster than hereditary hair loss and a much bigger turn on than the ladies. Outfitted to scoop the naturally occurring elements tan tantanified from the spaceways, it is the only vessel fast enough to atomise it into its usable form that Dakar prizes so dearly, Tantalum. With a large enough supply of tantalum, Dakar's jump drive will enable travel to any point in the galaxy to be instantaneous, marginally faster than Vince flies. A fact which don't mean squat to Vince. For him, getting there is half the fun. The highway, your destination, and finally we're getting to the gameplay. Sort of. Okay, fine. Yeah, this is my first time. As you can see, Vince, the Eevee has been outfitted with a new galactic map screen. Take a few moments to get a feel for it. Sure thing, whatever you As say. As you're just leaving Bakara, you need to move your cursor over to the Fjox. Select the Fjox and you'll notice a panel giving you details about the city and how much tantalum you need in order to travel there. As you progress, your route will turn green on the map. If you break the record, then that route will turn gold, and you'll earn a bonus. <laughs> Easy enough, Vince? Well, easy for you to say. You mean, am I paying attention? Exactly. Alright. Oh, that's gotta be the keyboard. That's a bit weird. Why can't you control it with the mouse? It's a bit of a fuck up there. in the galaxy have a high tantalum cost. So, if you don't have enough when you reach them, just head somewhere else until you have enough to progress. When you are ready to try the first mission, select Go! Go! Okay. We outfitted the Eevee with our new Galaxy.net system. 
This tells you all the relevant information you need to know, such as bonus times and records. As you progress through the galaxy, you'll be able to upgrade it to your advantage. Okay. Here we go. Listen up, fans. I know you don't need me to show you the ropes, but rules are rules. If you paid attention in your training, you'd remember the hood of the Eevee. Hood? I saw you sleeping, so we'll go over it again. I wasn't sleeping. I was preparing my temple-like body for the grueling mission ahead. Really, Vince? Okay, so you'll see your timer on the top left. This shows your current time for the level. Top right, you can see your credit counter. Always nice to see that filling up. And then, remember to visit the shop to get some upgrades. They will really help you on your travels. Your barrier pass counter runs along the top. This indicates how many barrier passes you have left. Hey, I just stop talking. Yeah, I gotta get him. Okay, that must have been a glitch. Okay, now on to the highway. Get going and I'll tell you about everything as we head on out. <laughs> the run to the Vux is very easy, Vince. We've had problems with rogue asteroids lately, so... Watch out for broken sections of the track as they slow you down, so if you can, avoid them. Okay, easy enough. It's a bit like audio surf. It's almost like if audio surf had a storm goes. Pushers. Sometimes the highways have to burn and turn to avoid dark matter and gravity walls. And other time rogue asteroids smash the lanes into pieces. These gently push you to the safety and stop you from drifting off into space. Gently isn't in my vocab. That's a nice Let's test it out. Yep, there we go. And here we go, might as well. Time achieved. Hey, Ama, you got anything a bit Ama. more challenging? <laughs> you could always try an ascension, but well done, Vince. Probably not the kind of ascension I'm thinking of. Welcome to the Fiox, Vince, and congratulations on completing your first run. We've just given you access to the Vakure shipyard. So, yeah. go ahead and I'm buy your first density wrong. upgrade, which stops you slowing down too much if you hit something.
your eye out for these fins. Yeah, I guess that. That voice is so a bit annoying. It's left control, I think. For the EV, buy new ship skins or check out some of our other prototype ships. That is, if you have any credits left after visiting Bakara. Oh, yeah, Bakara. That was an interesting visit. Remind me not to pick a fight with something that sits on its fists. Okay, yes, do what you like with the translation. See what the upgrade does. Oh, is that what it does? Level information. Ah, screw that. I too like to live dangerously. This is a barrier, Vince. You will see a lot of these. They come in red, blue, yellow, and green. We develop them as the way to tax the highways, as ships that use them have to bypass us. As you are in a docky or ship, they only slow you down if you hit them. <laughs> so don't. That's a that's a pretty shitty way of taxing. <laughs> when you've only got one lane out of three there, that's taxed, so to speak. It's like it's like the average speed cameras there, where you can you can beat those or trick them just by changing lanes in between. <laughs> but I know, used to, it used to be the case that you could pull an average speed camera by just changing lanes. I'm guessing that's not the case nowadays.
page. Jesus. Think we kinda wanted the ship back in one piece, you know? Yeah, kid, but I wanted to test the strength of this trans steel. You said it only slowed the ship down. Oh, what a crap finish. And <laughs> balls that up at the end. I'm gonna guess two minutes with the gold time. No, apparently not. Welcome to Talsius, Vince. I see you've collected enough to outfit your oh, ship with a new I seriously got to buy a bloody page. I'd rather stick with that. Fuck it, fine. Just get that one. There you go. It's, one of, it's an annoying thing. I, it's something I hate in games, though, where they force you to buy credits on something you don't want. Found something like the found, I found when I was say I got to try out the crew before. That there's something annoying as well. Like when you got a lot of money stacked up there, like a woman in there keep just keeps annoying you. There, like reminding you, says reminding you to spend it. So that got annoying pretty quickly. Up, Vince. Will be if you want to go through any more training manuals. I'm not paying attention. Did you lose the boost when you hit the barrier? Pretty much the same time as the last level, give or take a second. Again. Another gold stain, they just keep coming. Without even trying. <laughs> we hope the difficulty comes up soon. We've taken the liberty to upload a new feature to Eevee's OS. You can now buy barrier passes, which you can access through Galaxy.net. Buy a red barrier pass, as you will need it for the next level. Oh, bugger. Alright, fine. How do you... What have you highlighted the key? Right. Only one. Alright then. Eh? 
just for the beginning, I'm assuming. Just a mechanic, I'm guessing. Then I'm gonna need an upgrade to get to These are the barrier passes that let you pass through a barrier of the same color when you pick up a pass. So you just pick them up and you don't have that. And yeah, of course. to go faster. We need Tantalam, not a tray of broken ship parts. The Eevee can handle the odd bump. Unless her put the budget on nuts and bolts. Ah. At least it was under two minutes this time. Progress fans. The next city on your map is one of our. There we go then. Okay, next show coming up.
by the time you make it back to Bayouks. Sorry, Vince can't come to the phone right now. Okay. She's too vexed. <laughs> so hang on, do I just check shipyard then? Is it able to buy it? Oh, right, there we go. And that was the thousand credits. And let's get to upgrading. I've got up quite a few credits already, so. Yes, I will stick with the skin. First. Oh. Is 
to that shit? I knew it was bad, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, that felt better. Pretty I've got to say. Was it gold? It was, yeah. Back on form. Dance, do you see that new city that just appeared? If you get to that city, you'll unlock a new episode in your story. One of these, they make everything around you go okay. away. Quite explosive. Yeah, I had a thought I'd be included in that as well then, of making everything around you. Are we around. back talking about the Vindaloo again? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah. Ben, concentrate. No one wants to know about your bowel movement. Speak for yourself. Jesus. <laughs>
back to the comic books. <clears throat> Which way do we go? Okay, quite a bit. Yeah, I'm not gonna narrate it this time. Is it going for at the moment on Steam? And there are achievements I was wondering what was going on there. But I didn't see anything come up, it thought it might be like very simplistic ones. But I don't know if it's a cheap scale. Oh. <coughs> Technically, that's not possible since you're forced to buy an upgrade and a skin at the beginning. Same achievement, just differently pointed. It. It's a bit weird. Travel 10,000 miles. I bet realistically you'd have probably done that on the first wormhole. But... That's why I'm going to fully upgrade the Orion. So how much is it really? It's six ninety nine. Okay, so that's obviously full price. I mean, that's, that's all right for what you get there. I quite, I quite like playing it. Obviously, wouldn't pay full price for it though. I mean, I never do for any game really. I'll be honest. So don't, so don't take that seriously. I've got to give, got to give my thanks to Atomicom again for giving me a key here in order to stream this and let me play it here for free. <laughs> 